Hey guys, John here. Today we're in Pigments and we're going to use one saw away from the analog engine and lots of effects and see what we can come up with. So let's go to a new preset and go to our analog engine. All right, we've got a saw wave, so now let's hop into the effects. So this is kind of a fun thing I'd like to do. So for our first one, we already have our delay, so let's kind of bring this up into the mix here. Do some stereo spread, kind of change the, uh, the uh, filter here. And for the second one, let's do a tape echo and also increase the stereo spread. But we're going to put this one maybe on an eighth note. We can even try a dotted only. That might be interesting. Maybe go back to the regular one. Okay, we're kind of getting somewhere. So now we can go to the Chorus Juno 6, and for the presets, we can do the Mode 1. Let me bring the dry wet down just a little bit. All right, so our next effect here, let's use the Shimmer Reverb here, and let's add a little bit of ducking. Okay, bring up the stereo width, maybe back off a little on the dry right here. Okay, we need some release as well. Now we could add some unison in the actual engine, but let's kind of stick with the effects here and try the super unison now and see how that works here. Okay, so let's try to add some interesting modulation here with our filter. So let's go for the MS-20 because it's one of my personal favorites here and back this off a little bit. And maybe use envelope two to modulate this guy. Let's increase that decay and the release. I'm gonna have these kind of close in value. Okay, well, while we're here, we can start doing our macro. So let's get our first macro on the cutoff. Maybe bring this down a little bit in case we want something a little bit duller. And that's going to be the max here, as we can see that the modulation is kind of almost hitting the very top of the cutoff. Kind of like right there. And let's name this cut off. And then let's go to macro two, let's go to resonance. So we're gonna name that while we're here and then add this onto the resonance, drag this down, drag this kind of substantially up. So we have a lot of room to do some resonance if we'd like to. And something I also like doing is running it through the second filter, as we can see here, filter one's going to two. Let's turn this on, also go to the MS-20, and then just kind of leave it alone. You get a little extra something. And maybe for this second envelope here that's modulating our cutoff, we can give it a little bit more attack. Okay, so now we have macro three and four, and even though we're using a saw wave, I kind of like doing my thing here with the utility engine and adding a sub just in case we need it. So we're gonna turn on our oscillator here and set the output to direct out, turn this all the way down, grab macro three, turn this here, and then give it a good healthy amount as well. And then let's add this as sub, so. So we basically have a clean sine wave here if we want it here. I might back this off to zero just in case. 
so we have a nice lead sound but that is there in case you want to use that so now we just need to do our effects on macro 4 which we have quite a bit here so M4, let's go to delay here. This is going to be 27%. So remember 0.27 to make that same change. And let's just add all these while we are here. So this second tape out go 20%. And let's back this down a little bit, something like that. Almost. There we go. And then chorus Juno 6, we took that to 35. So that would be 0.35. And then super unison. Let's drag this here as well. And then this is going to be 50%. So we can drag this all the way down and then go to 50. Although it's not going to sound exactly the same, but it's pretty close in the ballpark. And then we have our, our last shimmer here which is 29 percent we can put that there and then 29 let's bring this down and it's there we go so now we need to label this as fx and then maybe just a little bit to, actually what we could do is bring all these down here and for our first one what we're going to do is add a little bit of eq kind of tighten up this cue just a little bit here and you can always right click on this note here and then move the uh, mouse up and down and that's going to change the cue in case you didn't know that and maybe just a tad bit of high shelf to bring out the brightness It's almost like a dream come true, right? This is a dream come true. And that's, I guess, what I'm going to call the patch, a dream come true. Kind of like a, it almost also sounds kind of retro-y as well. For some reason, I've just been making a lot of those patches lately. Okay, so last thing, we have to check our levels here. Make sure we're not clipping or going a little bit too loud and keeping everything consistent because that's always important. Kind of just tickle the yellow right there. Maybe back it down just a little bit. That way we have some room for our sub if we do tend to use this at some point. Yeah, that might be fine. But for this patch, the way I'm going to save it, I'm going to keep the sub down there. So if you would like to get a dream come true, then there's a link in the video description below and it can be yours. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you learned something and we'll see you in the next video.